Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel, and today we're going to talk about Boba Fett's helmet. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Here at my Star Wars channel, I pretty much talk about everything Star Wars. I love Star Wars. I've been with the franchise since the very beginning, and like many, <laughs> Boba Fett is my favorite character. And I've been working on building a Boba Fett costume. And uh, I finally got my order in from Boba Maker. And I got all I got all the armor. So I'm so so excited about that. Well, all the armor except the jetpack. That is that is next on my list. But considering now that I have a return of the Jedi helmet and I have an Empire Strikes Back helmet. Well, I have the Empire Strikes Back helmet from Black Series. I thought I would go over what the differences are. In case you didn't know, Boba Fett has different armor from one film to the next. He looks different uh, in many different ways. But today, let's just focus on the helmet itself, okay? So, side-by-side -side comparison, let's look at the two helmets. All right, so here are our two helmets. We have the Black Series Empire Strikes Back on the left and Return of the Jedi made by Boba Maker on the right. And so initially, just looking at the two side by side, can you see some of the differences? I think the first thing you'll notice right away is that they are different shapes, right? They are different shaped helmets and the green coloring is also different. Right? Empire Strikes Back is typically more of a mint color and Return of the Jedi is more of an olive color. So aside from that, the battle damage, all the scarring and scratches, those are always uh, different as well. So those are the two biggest things probably that you notice right away. Uh, probably the second thing you'd notice is that the kill stripes on the side are also a different color. So Empire Strikes Back, the kill stripes are yellow, right? And then Return of the Jedi, they are orange. Also, the earpiece here on this side, Empire Strikes Back is a golden color, right? Or a tan color uh, in the film. And then Return of the Jedi, the earpiece is silver. Otherwise, there's a bunch of little minor differences like the coloring here on uh, the jaw and the cheekbone is a little different. And then we can swing it around to the backside. From the backside, you're going to see completely different color schemes as well. All right. The green on the Return of the Jedi is much more pronounced, whereas Empire uh, is more of a bluish color that kind of matches the headpiece and then the little plate that's on the back has a different color scheme. So now you should be able to recognize the differences between the two helmets. So at the end of it, uh, I'm super excited. Boba Maker was incredibly easy to work with. It's wonderful, very kind, very accommodating for all of my questions. And at the end of the day, getting everything in the mail, I'm just over the moon. I know, I know the comment section is going to ask, about where I got it and how much it cost, right? That's that's usually the, the biggest questions. So bobamaker.net, that, that's the storefront, all right? And the helmet itself is $345 plus $75 shipping. That is unpainted, <laughs> okay? So no paint, that's for you to paint. That's his base out the door price, $345 for the helmet and then 75 for shipping. If you want more, um, mine has the paint job. I also have padding on the inside of the helmet so that it kind of rests on my head. If you want all of those extra features, then you're gonna have to ask him what, what his charge is. But I wanna tell you exactly what makes this helmet unique. Uh, the first of which is the T-Visor. This right here, this is one of the things that really separates this mask from the, the store-bought mask is that you cannot see through the black on this. You can see my face in the Empire Strikes Back, the, the black series helmet, right? Because it's so much cheaper. 
and the materials are cheaper. This, this is three millimeter thick, dark acrylic. It's extremely tough. It's very difficult to scratch and nobody who's looking at you should be able to look in and then see your face, okay? The other cool thing is there is a magnetic stock on here so that you can easily adjust this if you want it up or down, okay? You can lower it. This is aluminum. This is an aluminum, so it's nice and metal. This is a custom rangefinder. It's got two little like pretend LEDs on there. You can see kind of underneath there as well. You can make your adjustment and this just snaps right back on. But you probably want to see what it looks like when it's on my face, right? All right, so this is the mask on my face with no, well, I don't have a voice changer right now. This is just picking up the microphone that's on my shirt, but you want to see it from the sides, straight ahead, the other side. It feels great moving my head side to side too. There's no wobble, right? It's not like I turn my head and the mask has to turn right behind it. Everything moves exactly as it should. And I can see, I can see really well. I don't feel like I have something I have to worry about balance wise or weight wise on my head, which is really good. So visit bobamaker.net, see what he's all about. He makes great products, highly recommended from me. I'll be showing you the rest of my armor here shortly. May the force be with you. I'll see you guys next time.